Hey, welcome to the Gypsy Food Network. Today we're going to make some homemade bread and we're going to go ahead and make them into a serving bowls. So I'm going to make some bread and I'm going to go ahead and tell you now what you need is a quarter cup of warm water, something like uh, when you warm up a baby's bottle and you just give it to him warm, that's a quarter cup with a pinch of, of sugar in there. And also you need your dry yeast and you need two tablespoons of that and we're going to place that inside of the cup which is one and there's your second one. Now you guys all know that yeast is a live organ and it takes water and sugar to activate it and we're going to leave it sit there for at least about 15 minutes maybe less than that. As soon as it starts bubbling and it uh, starts to come in foam, then I'll get back to you guys and show you what I'm talking about and then we'll start the recipe. It is a basic recipe and we will get right back to you. Hey girls, I'm back. I let my yeast rise. I'm going to show it to you. I had it covered because you have to have it covered. And it's been sitting here for about five minutes. That's good for it guys. And see, all you have to do is just move it around a little bit. We're going to put it in our bread and what we're going to do is we're going to add two cups, two and a half cups of flour girls. You don't have to measure on this because it is just a bread dough. And like I said, it's a simple dough. So we got that going. We're going to put a tablespoon of salt. We're going to put two tablespoons, that's a teaspoon, I'm sorry, of salt. And this is two tablespoons of sugar. And we're going to also put two tablespoons of potato starch which is going to make um, your bread a lot softer and not so dense okay and you can buy this at your agent's agent Asian, Asian Asian store and if you can't find this at all uh, I heard you can use potato water which is the boiled mashed potatoes but you just take out the water and just keep that on reserve so we're putting two tablespoons of this in there and it looks like cornstarch but it's potato starch and you just put that in like I told you girls always stir your ingredients so they can get incorporated then what we're going to do is we're going to put our oil which is a quarter cup that's also going to make your bread nice and soft and it's going to taste like store bought and you also put in your yeast now we got all of that in there you can let your yeast rise a little more if you'd like. And then you get your water at a uh, little warm. You don't want it cold. Anytime you're making a dough, you don't want cold water in there. And the yeast is also in warm water. Uh, you don't want it too hot because you don't want to kill the yeast. So what we're going to do is I got three cups in here, but I'm going to add so much and then I'll see how much water I need. And then all we're going to do is just mix it up and just keep pulling your dough from the bottom and just keep on turning it if it's too stiff girls you can see that it's uh, see it's it's too stiff I don't want it that way what I want is a little bit more water okay and then we're gonna keep on doing this and get all that incorporated and I'll show you guys in a second here what it's gonna look like because we're gonna let it rise this kind of bread you need to do in advance because it does take an hour for it to rise and then it also takes uh, another hour for the next rising and then uh, after you shape it and stuff so it's a it's a pre-process rising thing uh, maybe we can get away with two but I'll see what we're doing here and this is the way that I want my batter this is a wet batter sometimes you do it more higher uh, more stiffer but I want a wet batter and do this girls so that everything is incorporated and now I'm going to let it rise for an hour be sure to put it in a warm place and let me see how much water I got left so I used uh, two cups of water in this recipe girls but if it's too dry you girls can always put more water but slowly at a time then you get your uh, little cap or whatever you got cover your bowl put it in a warm place and let it rise for an hour and I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like Okay girls, we're back and I wanted to show you this is what the flour looks like after it's rolls, uh, rised I should say. And what I'm going to do is same thing like I did with the puffy, is dump it on the flour, start it from the you, and then uh, when I get to that point where the bread is just right, um, 
The less flour you use putting into your dough, the softer your bread comes out and the more uh, nice and fluffy it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start this process and we'll be right back. Hey girls, I'm back. I'm done uh, doing the frumutinos and uh, I would say frumutinos for at least about five minutes, okay? And what I did was I cleaned my bowl out and I laid a little bit of oil on the bottom because what we're going to do is leave it rise a second time. And what we're going to do is put the top in the bowl first and then we're going to flip it over and grease it and I'll be right back. Okay girls, I'm back and I put it in and flipped the top first on the bottom. Then I turned it around and brought the top back up and now you can see it's greased. Don't put that much oil inside of your bowl. Uh, maybe about a half a tablespoon or a teaspoon I should say just enough to get it wet because you're just going to move it around I'm going to let it rise now for an hour in a warm place I'm going to cover it with my tea towel which is this is a tea towel just so you guys know you guys all got these things and uh, just cover it up and let it rise for an hour and after it rises for an hour we'll be back and I'll show you what else we're doing with it Hey girls, we're back. We're taking off our towel, and if you can see how I doubled up here. This is the second rising, and when we do this, all we're going to do is take our fist, pump out the air, okay? Inside of the bowl, we're just going to fold it once, twice, three, four, five times. We're going to pick it up, and then we're going to work it in our hand a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is take my bowl out of my way, and I'm going to make four of these, okay? That's one, two, and this is our four. Now, what you do is you work them into your hand a little bit. Just keep on going like this and just pushing them on the bottom here, like so, okay? Because we're going to have three, uh, four loaves here, four little round loaves. Now, even though they're this small, don't worry because we're going to have another round of, uh, of popping up. So we're just going to work it like so. And we're going to do all four like this. Make it back into a ball. We're going to place them like so on the, on the sheet. And it's a little longer. And I'll be back. Okay girls, I'm back. I made my four rounds, which is going to be four loaves. And these are going to be um, uh, bowls for our stew for later on this evening. So I'm going to cover them again and let them rise one more time. It is a three hour process, so you do have to make your bread early, uh, if anything, so that you can use them for in the evening. Okay, we'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. And we're ready for the unveiling because we got one more step to go before we pop it in the oven. There we go. They're all nice and proof. And what I'm going to do is we're going to put some warm water in a bowl. Take our brush. And I got some salt in there, so it's salt water. And we're just going to brush the tops with the water, like so. Just so that the crust can come a little bit more crispier. And so that it can bake right. And then we're going to put it in our oven and we're going to bake it from anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. And what you do is to see if it's ready is you usually just tap on the top of it. If it sounds hollow, then that means that the bread is done. So we're going to do this, pop it in the oven. I'll show you guys when it's done, how it looks and how it came out. Now it will proof up a little bit more in the oven. So we'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome to the Gypsy Food Network. I just got the bread out of the oven, and this is what I was telling you. You tap on it, and it sounds how it's done. Now it took uh, less than 20 minutes in my oven because it was uh, the oven was running hot. So anyway, this is what it is. God bless you girls. Be sure to make your guys' bread. And if you had smell vision, girls, this would be it. The whole house smells like fresh baked bread. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys understood the recipe and how to make it. And I hope you guys do try it. And we'll be back soon with another recipe.
Thanks girls, God bless!